Hi there, it's Pop Moss and welcome to a new episode of the Communist States of America. Well, nice of you to come by. Hope you are doing great. I am. And well, we'll just dive straight into the game. We were busy in South America. And well, at least I'll get the time rolling, then we can see what we can do. For instance, can we defeat these troops or not? Have to find out. So there's a lot of enemy divisions here, so we might just have to be a bit careful. Let's just hold and regain some organization and material there. But yeah, well, I'm curious. Can we hold out? Can we do anything? Let's take half of these troops, get them out of there, so they can also regain some organization and, well, become strong again. Let's hope they actually can. And, well, ooh, that's good, we think, a few ships. After that, we'll see what we can do. Now, I'm thinking, ooh, there's only three divisions now. Maybe that's my chance. Let's go. We hope so. But, well, I'm thinking it's time we start to actually make plans where to go from here. So, I'm thinking about going into Africa. We have plenty of factories anyway, so we can use them in a while to just make ports here and make the infrastructure better. We just need to get across. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna train some extra marines, 10 units in this case, I'll deploy them here. And then we'll use those to get across and then send an army across and we'll see. Well, at least I hope we can do a good job with that. Of course, you can never be sure, but at least we can try. And that's basically what I want to do. Now, we have a quite a strong army right now. They regained their organization, which is really good. We have these coming back in, which is excellent. They really needed that. I guess I should pick a few that could regain their organization. So they can just retreat. But this is a decent number, and this number is looking better and better. So that's good. Let's keep the pressure on. We're only 1.1 million weapons short, so we already gained a million weapons since a few episodes ago. Which I think is pretty awesome. And well, now we'll just have to see what we can do. Now, I'm really hoping we can push in here. That will be really good. I have to see if we actually can, but... Well, I'm fairly optimistic. I think we should use some fighters here. High plane fighters, early fighter 2, early fighter 3. Let's put in these early fighters. Total domination over the skies. Alright, well, if we're gonna go across, we need troops for that. Now, these guys didn't make it, that's for sure. Where are these? They are defending. Where are these? They are right there. I guess I should justify against the Netherlands, get them in. Well, maybe not. Because I remember when I do that can't trade any rubber, etc. So we're not going to do that. So, basically we're going to look at what's happening here. And of course I'm hoping that... Well, we can get across in a while. And get some action in Africa. To be a bit patient for that, of course. But I think that's obvious. And... I think this fleet is set to do not engage, and we have some destroyers that need repairs. So I'm gonna put these right back. Go to Norfolk. Come on. Is he in the fight again? Yes. Well, it's the second Atlantic fleet, and I see we are building a lot of light cruisers and destroyers. And I need those. So I'm going to change this line for a destroyer. 
And we're gonna set these destroyers to the second Atlantic fleet. We're gonna set these light cruisers also to the second Atlantic fleet. Oh, we're not building any battleships, so we don't have to touch those. I will have to do these. Second Atlantic fleet. And I'm gonna set this one to the Pacific fleet. So we also enhance the Pacific fleet a bit. And then we'll see. But this fleet needs repairs now. And that also means that this fleet hopefully has all its airplanes. 13 to go. And once it has all its airplanes, I will send them in here and see if they can hurt the enemy right there. Ooh, we've put in reinforcements there. Which is interesting. I just don't know if it's enough for him, but... Well, it's something. He's getting real short in weapons and organization here, so maybe we can strike back at some point. I have to see, but it would be really interesting if we could. Alright, so the battle stopped and straight went on a new battle. Well, at least the guy's getting better and better. And, well, what's not to like about that? I do want the best guy available. Ooh, this is our chance. See if we can get in. 51. This number should start rolling up. If it does, we're good. If it doesn't, we're not good. And, well, it went down one point and we're in the red. So that's not good. Let's just stop. And let him do the attacking for now. Perhaps next time this battle stops, we should get half an attack there. That could be the thing to defeat them. But, well, you kinda never know. Oh. He's putting in a lot of divisions, but... Not really gaining anything. Yes, that's it. So, let's select half. I don't care which half. They will go there. I will try it again with them. No, that's not gonna work. Well, I'm gonna do this anyway. To prevent these troops from going there. All we have to do now is hope they can hold out long enough. They can, that'll be good. Means we need everyone to attack these troops. Still have supremacy, yes. Air supremacy is good. 93, 94. Oh, come on, hold out. Three divisions left here. 95. That would be excellent, come on. Time. These guys should train. I think there's something wrong here. Because it says we're a million weapons short. But we're still able to train troops. I think that's wrong. But, uh, this might be not up to me. I know there are mods where you can train. Jungle people, but well, it's not this much, so we can't train any jungle people. Well, looks fairly peaceful there. We're losing convoys there, that's not supposed to happen. Yet we have enough naval bombers, so we can send out this fleet, so let's do so. I think we should send him out here for a while to get rid of those enemy fleets. These are repairing. How far are they done? Well, completely. They are done. We'll send this fleet up here to protect that. And, well, we have a pretty big fleet here. So let's see. All fighters? That's not good. What's it? 28, I think. It's halfway.
send it to 28. All right. Perhaps we can just send that fleet out as well, because, well, why not? Would be interesting. Wait. Probably. Oh, I set the second Atlantic fleet to engage. This one should also engage. Then we'll see. All right. Well, we'll send this one out. Right there. At least we'll be doing quite okay on that aspect. Did we win? Yes, we sink a light cruiser. Perfect. Ah, we got in. Perfect. Now these can stop then. They don't need to worry about attacking. They need to worry about regaining their strength. And I think I'm gonna do it like this. Both armies have their own province to stay in. We sank another sub, alright, and another one, and another one. See, I told you that those bombers would actually make a difference, and, well, I can tell you, naval bombers do make a difference. They're really good. We sank convoys, we sank a sub, and a sub. Wow, we're actually sinking subs like crazy now. Perfect. I would almost start singing, but I'll spare you that. Well, we're not going to look at that for a while. We'll do that soon enough. Let's just focus on here right now. Alright, well, these are regaining their organization now, which is perfect. They're highly trained. We even have veteran units. And, well, these could use some training, but... Alright, three subs gone. We lost planes, but that's okay. He lost a light cruiser. Lost submarines. Well, I think... Our fleets are actually doing a good job, and I think we can also try get these guys home to the nearest port. Can't get them there, why not? Oh, they need to go to this province, because that's where the port is. I could also just set them to do a naval attack, right? Not at war with Denmark. But... Let's not do that. It's a bit overdoing it. Are they there yet? Yes. Alright, now they will go there. Let's hope they will arrive safely, that my fleet should protect them. At least they're destroying his ships like crazy. Watchful of enemy convoys, enemy messages that we lose convoys. Well, they're all gone now, so every time we see we lost a convoy, that's not good for us. So right here we have a problem. Oh, big fight. Big naval battle going on. And it appears we are winning a bit. But, at the same time, we lost a few convoys. And that's never a good thing, but... Oh, he keeps bringing in new ships. And, yeah, we lost quite a few, actually. That's not so good. It says defeat. Although, I am quite happy with the outcome. We destroyed... Or have his ship. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Not gonna complain there. Alright, how's it looking down here? Well, he keeps trying to attack me. At the same time, they regained their organization, so they can start attacking now. And these can, these can join in. Let's hope that works out. Subs gone. Subs gone. In fairly high numbers, I have to say. Now, let me check here. How is air supremacy? Well, 
We're not having any air supremacy. Over there. Let's do that now. Let's see. Will it work? Yeah. Oh, I think we already took that province. Now that's interesting. Let's go for the capital. This could be... A very decisive moment in that war. Alright, another sub sunk. I like it so far. Well, he has quite the troops here. Numbers going from red to yellow to green and... Well, we'll have to keep the pressure on, I think. There we go. How interesting. How fairly interesting. It's quite amazing one unit is able to hold out. But... They don't have an attack value. Why is that? There's a fortress there. We need to bust a fortress. Well, that's why I brought in my bombers for some real bombarding, but it's not really happening yet. And he probably fought here. Yeah. No, he didn't fortify that one on the coastal fortresses, so that isn't really an issue, but right, they have an attack value, so that's good. And let's get another doctrine. Come on. Let's see how our fleets did. Another sub gone. That's good. Well, these should repair. Especially want to keep my carriers. Alright. Let's go straight to Boston, repair. And we'll see. Alright, so there's progress in Chile. We're waiting for our marines to get ready. But when they do. That'll be excellent for us. Can't do anything about the infrastructure here yet, but... Well... I wish we could actually pull push in here. But he's way... He's very well defended. Entrenchment terrain and commander skill. Be nice if that number would go down quite a bit more than this. Well, I think they brought in a few fresh troops. So. Let's just hold out, let's wait, and there will be an opportunity, I'm sure of it. Alright. Ooh, we sank a convoy, interesting. Ooh, I think there's my marines. Well, I think we should make a theater for Europe. <coughs> or Africa, I mean. Going for Africa, anyway. Alright, let's split these in half. Make two armies of five, so we can land in two provinces at the same time. Then we need an army that will follow up. That'll be those guys. I think we can rush these guys down here as well. So they can do a naval invasion when the time's come. time comes. Well, they should all just hold out there. But they can be with homeland and defense. These guys... Also go to homeland. These guys go to homeland. And those guys are going to Africa. That's better. Well, Peru. We have Argentine. Those two are prepared for that. So I think I need to make armies to attack. So what am I going to do? Well, let's see. Those marines are gone. That's done. Let's make 20 of these. And at the same time, I'm going to do 19 of those. And then 5 of those. That will make one army. Put them down there. Then, 
That's one. But I also want another mountaineer army. Complete army of 24 divisions. And we need more infantry. Equipped, yes. And they will also go here. So, let's prepare a few armies just to get in there. Alright, let's get time rolling again, of course. We lost a convoy, that's not so nice. Now, the situation came to a halt here. I just wish my bombers could really bomb the shit out there, but doesn't appear so. What I can do... No, I can't. I can't just set this province to build an airfield, so... There already is an airfield here. But that's not really an option. I sh could just set these to attack there. These to attack there, so at least you get the attack bonus. Or preparation bonus, that's called. That could be a bit of help. And, yeah, I was just hoping he would attack there. Of course he's attacking me, but that's fine. And then we'll see. Who there is wins? These guys. Just be set up there. This should go there. Set up an attack line. So, they will go to Argentina as well. Just need to get all we can out there. Well, a little over a year, we can revoke that, so that's good. They have volunteer divisions out there, which is interesting. And now we get a 71 score, that's a nice score, actually. That's a better score than it was. Probably not get a good score here, no. But, well, this number is running up, and as we keep him occupied, he can't send new troops there. Which could be to our benefit, so let's try it that way. Alright. Although we still desperately need chromium. But, hmm. Can't get it anywhere. Alright, let's prepare these troops for an attack. Where should they go? Well, we need a port. So I'm thinking about Banul and Zankorian. Because if they get through, then at least we have one port. No divisions, no transport, so probably there's a... Yeah, these guys. That one should go away. So now we can set that. We can only do two naval invasions at the same time, so... In a while, I will try to upgrade my transport so we can do more divisions, at the, more invasions at the same time. Then I should get this army already in also a port province, so just right there. So they can get across a sap when the time comes. Really looking forward to that moment, of course. And it would be nice if I can give you some action into Africa and let's hope it's a good thing we do that, and we don't just get smashed or something, but I'll have to see about that. Alright, how's this fleet doing? Still repairing, which is nice. Best to do that. Well, I think I'm just going to scrap these, because they're really bad carriers and I can't use them anyway. Alright, how are these ships doing? They're doing good. They should also protect the Florida coast. Let's 
probably avoiding me. Yes, he is. So there's not gonna happen anything there. 86, still the number. Ooh, he brought in a few good troops. Now that's interesting. 89, 90, that's better. Come on, climb up with those numbers. 92, 94, 93. Really want to do some sort of final blow. 95, 96. Have to make sure we keep these occupied. Two there's wins, of course. 97, come on. 98. Let's break him. Well. If we do, and we did, we might try and surround these, because they'll be a big help. Alright, so. Well, he should go there. He should go there. And he should stay. Let's surround these forces. And see what we can do. Perfect. Guess we have to keep the pressure on. gonna do it like this. They will all get there. And these guys will go here. And keep on pushing down south. So at least we got it covered. Set up an attack line. Oh, I said I set up an attack line. Perfect. Alright, well, these troops can hold. We'll no longer attack. Yeah, they're pushing through. Nice, nice, nice. Keep going. Let's check losses. Two million against six million. I like it. So, how's Chiel coming along? Well, needs quite a bit to surrender. I'll give it a final push for this episode. Let's see if we can get him on his knees. And, well, if that number starts running to 100, we will. If not, that's okay. We'll just wait. And we'll finish him off in the next episode. Or, well, maybe it's just a good cliffhanger. We'll just await it and finish him off in the last episode. I think so. So, this episode's going to end here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please give me a thumbs up. That's a big help to my channel to help it grow. If you want to help it grow even more, just subscribe to it and you'll get an email when I put up a new video. And, well, I hope to see you in the next episode. Thanks for all your efforts. Bye-bye.